welcome back to my YouTube channel and Happy New Year. This is my first video that I filmed in 2017. The one that I uploaded on Monday just gone, I actually filmed at the end of last summer. So yeah, I haven't filmed a video yet this year. So I thought I would start off with my current skincare routine. So this is a question that I've been asked a lot recently. And seeing as basically all of the products have changed since my last skincare routine video, I thought why not film an updated version. So that's what I'm doing today. So before I begin to show you the products and tell you about my routine, I'll first tell you what skin type I have. My skin type is, I'd say pretty normal at the moment. It's not really oily, it's probably a little bit dehydrated because everyone's skin kind of is dehydrated, but it is only dry if I have fake tan on my face because obviously the ingredients in fake tan dry out your skin. But other than that, my skin is just pretty normal. So at the moment, I'm lucky. By the way, if you can hear like a creaking noise throughout this video, it's the chair that I'm sitting on. And I'm sorry if that's irritating, but there's nothing I can do. So before I started using the products that I have now, these are basically all from Image Skincare. And there's one or two random ones as well, but majority of them are Image Skincare. I was kind of using whatever products and basically my skin had gotten really oily and because I'd never suffered from oily skin before, I was like, okay, hey, obviously I'm doing something wrong. So I'd never gotten a facial. I still haven't gotten a facial, I need to get one. But I'd never gone to like a beauty therapist or a skin expert to get my skin analyzed or anything like that. So I thought, why not? And I went for a consultation with Jennifer Rock who doesn't anymore but she used to work for Image Skincare and she's absolutely amazing and she basically had a look at my skin we kind of talked about like my problem areas and what I want to fix etc and she told me the exact products that I need to use for my skin so obviously these products that she recommended work for me and Image Skincare you can't actually buy online you can only get them in like beauticians or different sockets and stuff like that I will leave the websites for Image Skincare down below so you can check um, of different stockists in your area and stuff like that. But if you do want to get the products, they always recommend to go for a skin analysis or a consultation beforehand. So you're recommended the correct products for your skin so you get the best results. That being said, when I went to my skin consultation with Jennifer, basically she was like, I'm over exfoliating. I was using my Clarisonic two times a day and I was also using the Pixie Tonic Cleanser. Um, I think that's what it's called, but it's the Pixie Cleanser. No, it's the Pixie Toner. <laughs> I was using that toner as well as my Clarisonic, as well as a cleanser that was for oily skin. Don't ask me why I was using that. And the combination of all of those basically dried my skin out so much that my skin started overproducing oil and then it got oily. So basically in a nutshell, if you exfoliate and strip your skin of too much oils, your skin then kind of overcompensates, produces more oil, and then you're left with kind of oilier skin. So that's what happened to me. I was told to stop exfoliating and she told me exactly which products to use. Since I've gone for my consultation with her, I've actually changed it up a little bit. So I'm gonna get into all of the products, my morning routine and my night routine now. So when I wake up in the morning, obviously I have no makeup on or anything like that. I get into the shower and I use this here. This is the Image Skincare Ormedic Balancing Facial Cleanser. This one, from what I know, is kind of like more gentle. It's not as intense as the other cleansers. And by the way, all of the Image Skincare cleansers basically balance out the pH levels of your skin. So there's no need for a toner. So there's no toners with Image Skincare, from what I know anyway. But this is the cleanser that I use in the morning. I really like this. I like gel cleansers because I feel like I get a proper wash on my face. I don't like cream cleansers. Use this, then obviously I rinse it off. I massage it into my skin for about a minute because that's what they recommend. And then I just rinse it off in the shower. And when I get out of the shower then I use this serum. This is the Aluma Serum. By the way, all of the products are gonna be from Image Skincare unless I state otherwise. So I'm not gonna keep on saying Image Skincare. But this is the Aluma Intense Lightning Serum. And if you're gonna get any of the products that I mentioned today, get this one. This, this I think is like my fourth bottle, but it is amazing and I cannot live without this now. Well, I can, but you know what I mean. So basically this does what it says. It just kind of lightens and brightens your skin. It evens out your skin tone. It reduces any discoloration. And on, like literally after about a week of using it, I noticed a huge difference in my skin. I have freckles, especially when I go away. And not that I don't like freckles, but I just kind of prefer when my skin's more of an even skin tone and 
it completely toned down my freckles and any discoloration that I had along with my freckles from the sun and my skin tone was just so much more even and smooth that now I feel a lot more comfortable without makeup on and I feel like I can wear less makeup and still kind of have that like flawless full coverage because obviously my skin is kind of flawless underneath it. So yeah, if you're going to get any of the products from Image Skincare, definitely try out that serum. And then after I apply the serum, I go in with the moisturiser and I mix it up between these two. So this one here is the SPF 32 and this is an oil-free moisturiser and this one here is the SPF 30. So obviously this is a hydrating one, this is an oil-free one. So this one here says it's a matte moisturiser, so basically it's for oily skin types or anyone who doesn't want an extra shiny face from their moisturiser. This is one that I was recommended when I first went for my skin consultation, obviously because my skin was oilier at the time. This one I still probably use day to day, but if my skin is really dry, like I said, from wearing fake tan on my face, then I'll go in with this one because it's a hydrating one. So. The 32 one is the matte one and the SPF 31 is a hydrating one. And I also find with those moisturizers that they really brighten your skin. They make you look really fresh and glowy and radiant. I really, really like them and my makeup goes on amazing after I use them. So that is it for my morning routine. Like I said, I was told not to exfoliate anymore, but I was given this here and it's the Vital C Hydrating Enzyme Mask. So I was told to use this three times a week for I think about to start off with five minutes and then eventually get up to around 30 minutes and then when your skin gets used to it you can apparently sleep in this as well but this basically was replacing my exfoliators so this does lightly exfoliate your face and this is the mask that I use like I said I meant to use it around three times a week but I usually forget so I probably use it like one to two times a week and this is really really nice I really like this I should probably use it more because it is really good, but I'm just so lazy when it comes to masks. But yeah, this is the mask that I use and basically this is my exfoliator. So moving on to my nighttime routine, obviously at nighttime I tend to have makeup on my skin, so I need to remove that first. I used to just go in with my cleanser and wash my face once to kind of remove my makeup and then go in with the second cleanse, with the same cleanser, to actually like clean my face. That way you end up using a lot of product. So. I actually started using this and although it looks like it's dirty, it's just out of the wash. This here is actually a product from Jennifer Rock, who I mentioned I went to the skin consultation with. And this is called the Cleanse Off Mist. It's basically a microfiber face mist and you just put it on your hand like this. What you do is just tie back your hair the way you usually do before you take off your makeup. Rinse this under hot water, I like to use as warm as possible, and then you squeeze it out and basically you just wipe your face with this and it removes all of your makeup. I know it sounds too good to be true, but it literally removes all of your makeup. This even removes waterproof makeup, it removes my mascara. Obviously you need to take a little bit of extra time to remove mascara and waterproof um, makeup, but it's still really quick. So basically I remove all of my makeup with this first. And you can actually go in and use your creams and your serums straight after washing your face with this. Um, obviously I like to use a cleanser afterwards just to properly deep cleanse because I wear a lot of makeup but you can actually just use this and then go in with your creams and because you're only using water when you're cleansing or cleaning your face with this it's good for people who have sensitive skin or for people who don't like to use a lot of products on their skin and basically this has now replaced my makeup wipes so instead of using makeup wipes when I'm too lazy I'll just use this it's actually quicker and yeah, it's not as bad for your skin. So this is basically my pre-cleanser. Then after I've taken off all of my makeup, I go in with my nighttime cleanser and it's the Image Skincare, the Max Stem Cell Facial Cleanser. This one obviously is a bit more intense than the Ormedic one that I use in the morning. And same thing, I just wet my face with warm water, massage this into my skin for a minute and kind of lather it up and then I rinse it with kind of slightly colder water but still a little bit warm and then I just pat dry my face once I've rinsed all of my cleanser off then I go in with my eye cream so I use the ageless total eye it's just called ageless total eye <laughs> so I go in with my eye cream and I apply that just in this area here I don't go the whole way up to underneath my eye because apparently you don't need to if you just apply it in this area here the product actually works its way up to this little bit of skin here. So a little bit of a tip for you. And I always use these fingers here because this finger apparently is 
the lightest for this area here and obviously this area here is delicate so you need a lighter touch. Then after I use my eye cream I go in with the go in like a makeup tutorial. I use the Intense Lightening Serum again. So I use this day and night. This is the only product that I use twice a day. And I actually read that you're meant to use your eye cream before your serum, so that's why I started doing that. After my serum, I then go in with my nice cream, and it is the Max Stem Cell Cream. This one, out of all of the products, is quite pricey, um, but I've had this for so long, and like I said, I use it every night, and there's still a lot in here. You need the tiniest amount, because a little bit of this goes a long way, and my skin feels amazing after I apply this on it. Like the next morning my skin is so soft. I really like this. To me it is worth the money because it does last and I get really good results from it. But it is pricey and like I said there is other products. They have a huge range of products and if you go to a skin consultation with someone they might recommend a different cream. So that is my updated skincare routine. I did say that there is some products that I use here and there that aren't from Image Skincare so I'm just going to talk through them really quickly. So when I'm not feeling lazy and I do want to, you know, use a face mask, which is quite rarely, I need to start using face masks or try to use them at least once a week. I love the Glam Glow face mask. This one here is the Youth Mud, but I actually prefer the one that comes in the white tub. I think it's called the Super Mud, but this is the only one I have because the white one is so hard to get. It's always sold out, but this is so good for like cleaning out and deep cleansing your skin and you know cleaning out your pores I always notice that my blackheads are really reduced especially around my nose area after I use this mask so I really like this and that is actually quite good for um, an exfoliation as well then another face mask that I also love I was sent this or the pack of this from Lancome and it's the Genifique Youth Activating Second Skin Mask so this is a sheet mask which I actually really like using I don't know why but I love this and I my skin is so good after I use this. It's so good. Again, this is quite pricey for like the little pack of them, but they are amazing and if you kind of want to treat yourself and use them here and there alongside your skincare routine, like oh this is such a good face mask. My skin is like so smooth after it. I love this. And then I also have two products from Kiehl's that I've only really started using the last two weeks so I can't really say that I'm like a huge, huge fan of them because I haven't used them long enough. But the first one here, <clears throat> I feel like my voice is going. <laughs> the first one is the Kiehl's Breakout Control Blemish Treatment Facial Lotion. So this here is clinically demonstrated to diminish blemish breakouts while reducing rough texture and dull skin tone. So this contains 1.5% salicylic acid, which I've heard is very good for breakouts, and it has vitamin B3. So I just had my period and I got a breakout here and here. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but you can still kind of see this one. And I used this product on those areas, and I do feel like it did reduce the size of the spot, the redness, and help to kind of go away quicker. Usually they linger for ages, it's so annoying. But this definitely sped up the process. Obviously, like I said, I haven't really used it a lot so I can't tell if it's the product or maybe my skin was just being kind to me but so far I do think it's a product and I do like it and the second product from Kiehl's is the clearly corrective brightening and smoothing moisture treatment so this has activated C white birch and glycolic acid and this says it is to help correct the appearance of skin discoloration and rough texture for improved skin clarity and infuses intense hydration. Um, I've probably used this for about two weeks now and it kind of gives similar results to this in the sense that it just really hydrates my skin and makes it feel really really soft. So I've been enjoying this and that is all of the products I have to show you today. So that is it. Like I said, I will list all of the products as I mentioned them in the description box below my video. So make sure you check that out and I know Image Skincare is available in the US, in Ireland and in Scotland, I'm not sure. I don't think it is available in the UK, but I will leave the US website and then the UK and Scotland, no, the Ireland and Scotland website below so you guys can check out if there's any um, beauticians that stock it near you. That is it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. If you have any video suggestions then please leave them down below. I'm thinking for Monday's video I might film 
um, a real time get ready with me so it's a video with absolutely no editing just me doing my makeup so you can see exactly how long I spend to kind of blend in my foundation and do my eyebrows I'm not going to speed it up or edit it so it's like true to exactly how I do it but let me know if you'd like to actually see that in the comments down below but yeah that's it from me I'll see you in my next one bye